everyone, welcome to my react and stop video. My react should be longer, but I deleted some of the footage, but I have the best ones, so please watch and enjoy. This is something I wish I'd done with like season one and season two, because like, I just wish I could look back and see my reaction, so I thought might as well do it this time. And Young Justice really means a lot to me, it's what started my DC obsession. So it was Young Justice that finally drove me to like start reading the comics, you know, I bought the comics of the show, and then I really wanted to read more about the people's lives, so I bought like the Blue Beetle comics, and that just kind of led into getting a few Teen Titans and Young Justice comics, and uh, Son of Batman, I really liked, yeah, random Batman ones as well, and then also Rebirth came out, I, it was a fresh start, so I started buying those, and yeah, it was really the beginning, I'm so thankful, so this show means a lot to me, so enjoy my overreactions to everything. <laughs> Team to whatever Batman's got going. I was sort of counting on you. It's just one mission. You can always count on me. I can prove it. I'm carrying this around for a month. We have just the right one. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> it fell down. But oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Cobert. It goes without saying that the Open fire! Disregard that order! Arrest Terrence the Lab! Yes. You dare? <laughs> are mine to control! Now that I have proven this, what you've proven here is your hypocrisy. You scapegoating metahumans, though you yourself were a metahuman. Smart friends. You lied to them. No, no, I had you a great skill with your meta ability. <laughs> that no doubt required time to master. Which tells me you received your powers long before Rio. Smart boy. Smart boy. I know who you are. And it's clear your deception was the groundwork for a coup against my family and Markovia. You have no heart anything. <laughs> I'm watching our live stream and it's going like crazy. It's like clapping and all these hearts. It's terrifying. <gasps> no, you shot him. This is the leader of the monster. I killed the monster. You killed the king. And when you realized that, you realized that you were playing cross with me. That's so sad. Now I'll just talk a bit about my thoughts on the show, I like the, I don't really want to do a review because I feel like most episodes I'm going to be like, that was 10 out of 10. So I just thought I'd generally like talk about the episodes, so episode 1 was like insane, so much happened that I did not suspect. So first like there's the meeting and like, I, I knew about Aqualad being Aquaman now, and but I didn't quite realise like, I knew he was the leader of the Justice League but it still kind of came as a surprise. Ah, oh, he's an amazing character. Like, I really love Kaldara. Like, I really appreciate Aqualad more now. I don't know, I think he... Before I thought he was, like, really boring, but now that I'm a bit older, I'm like... Now he, he's a really good, like, leader-type character, and I can't believe... You know, when he was the leader of the Injustice, he kind of was always like, yeah, Dick's gonna take over from me. He was just the temporary leader. And now to actually be, like, the leader of the Justice League is amazing, but... Batman <laughs> ruined it all like Batman resigned from the Justice League and then like everyone else I can't remember what Superman does but um is it Batman? I don't remember but yeah like a bunch of other people resigned because of Batman and like they talked about it before and that was like oh, Batman come on but yeah that was that was really shocking I did not suspect that to happen 
And it was pretty funny because like he goes out and like all the back kids are just like, yep, we know what's happening. Get up and go. And he even like Tim didn't tell Cassie. And she was like, what's going on? Oh, they're a couple now, by the way. That's really cute. Like that was kind of hinted at at the end of season two. So it's not like I'm too surprised. So Dick goes to find some members of, well, ex-members of the team to try recruit to figure out this meta human trafficking situation and this is when you first see Artemis and it's really cute she's like oh, she has a little picture of Wally beside her bed that was sad anyway so we find out that she's living with Roy now known as Will and while wow, he's buff <sighs> that old him new him total difference anyway uh, they don't seem to be together if you didn't know uh, her sister had a kid with him, so I think she's just together in the house to raise the kid. I don't know. As you can see in my reaction video, Superboy proposes to McCann. Like, I, I, I definitely didn't expect that in the first episode. Like, wow. Oh, that was that was my favourite part of the three episodes. Like, because if you haven't seen Young Justice, they, they were the perfect couple. And to, to McCann, uh, Connor was like her kind of dream boyfriend and she even kind of named him that for like a reason and it got kind of rocky when they found out that and then obviously in season two they weren't together anymore but I loved in season one like he knew she did not look like that like uh, she yeah you know, she looks like a white Martian and he, he was just waiting for her to tell him that and it was so sweet like he loved her anyway and they are the perfect couple like in Done Justice they're oh, so I'm so glad they proposed. <sighs> it's mostly about meta human trafficking and oh it was dark. It was real dark. I did not expect like oh I should have expected it. But I didn't expect like blood. Like there was one bit when this like uh the kinda I don't know he hitman came out and he had like blood all over his hands and I was like, oh my goodness. <sighs> and then you see dead bodies. And it's like, well, I'll talk about about relationships and like what I suspect might happen. Well, obviously, I really hope McGann and Connor stay together, have a happy wedding. Maybe it's interrupted, but I hope they stay together. I would hate to see them separated, especially after all this time. Uh, so as people may know, we want some, the community wants some gay representation in the show. And I'm really hoping for like, two guys instead of two g girls because I feel like girls are represented well you know uh, Steven Universe you know Adventure Time but two guys the first kiss we've ever had and uh okay oh this is about to be spoilers so move on I'll put like a number that you can click to get away from the spoilers okay but in kiss in that cartoon and that was in Voltron but that was not really a couple, as people who watched it, well they were a couple but it's complicated because they didn't show them as a couple really. So I'm really hoping that Young Justice does that. So I thought it was going to be Superboy maybe because his Superboy is gay in the comics but I guess he's not, well he has to save McGann so I don't want him to be. Uh, we've got Aqualad who's, I think in the comics, is it, it's not Kaldar, it's, I can't remember his name. But again, he's a contender. Maybe with this new Prince guy. So maybe of him, but uh, I'm a Blue Pulse fan. I am hoping for that. Sorry, a little break. I'll continue about the episodes now. So episode two and three were less, they were still really good, but kind of less about like, find out about where the characters are and like big happenings. It's about the messy human trafficking. It was still a lot of fun. Like my favorite moments were definitely Oracle. There was a bit where, oh, I wish I got this like, well had the footage, I did film it. But it was uh, when she like trolls a uh, Nightwing <laughs> and she like has a little speech bubble come up that comes up that says lols. That that was really funny. Uh, well there, oh, I really like Prince Brian. I actually, he's a, he is a character in the comics. I can't remember what his name is. Do you, do you have horse? That's probably wrong. I was right. I was right. Okay. So I really like him and his little sideburns. I see a lot of people complaining that he looks older than he is. He's supposed to be 17 and he looks like 22. I agree he looks a bit older. I don't know if it's just the sideburns. 
And actually, you really liked his brother in the end. I was really suspicious. I was like, hmm. But he turned out to be a pretty nice guy. It was his uncle that was evil. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing Vertigo again was pretty cool. Like, he is a very scary, intimidating villain. And I can't wait to see what he's going to do and what all the villains are going to do now that it's darker. Like, because in the previous two, you know, they could, you know, be the kind of villain type, you know, laughing. But now they can do much darker stuff, you know, like, that they would. And oh, I'm worried for my babies. So we've got an added guest now for the end of the video where I'm just gonna say I've missed John Justice so much. Like, it's so well written. It's just like, I love superheroes. And Young Justice is really what got me super into the superhero world. I can't be more thankful for it doing that. And I'm so excited for the next few episodes. I know they're gonna be good. Like, I'd be surprised if the series after this long and with such a talented crew could go downhill at this stage. So it's gonna be good. So I'll see you next time where I hopefully <laughs> won't delete the footage. I I'm kicking myself. But yeah, okay, bye bye.